Thanks for joining us. I'm Staff Sergeant Mike Larman. You've probably seen the photo of the beachfront SOS spilled out by stranded mariners on a tiny Micronesian island. Now hear the story from the Misawa based mission commander who saw the scene from the window of his P-8 Poseidon aircraft. Part of Patrol Squadron 5, or VP-5, the Mad Foxes are deployed to the 7th Fleet from Jacksonville, Florida. Search and rescue is just one of the many things they do. This rescue just happened to look straight out of Hollywood. My observer in the window, Petty Officer Burns, uh, you know, shouted over the ice, I see help written on the, on the beach. And uh, you know, sure enough, everybody starts running towards the window. Everybody's looking over there, and about 15, 20 seconds later, you see three guys come running out of the underbrush waving uh, orange life jackets over their head. The rescue was possible thanks to Pacific wide cooperation and the castaways' ingenuity. Elsewhere in the fleet, more than 250 naval surface warfare officers gathered to discuss tactical procedures and implementation at an annual summit in Yokosuka. Surface warfare. For four deployed naval forces, it's their mission to serve overseas. Destroyer Squadron 15 hosted a week-long Surface Warfare Officers our SWO Summit at Fleet Activities Yokosuka to discuss and promote warfighting tactics. And Surface Warfare Officers have leadership roles right away, right after they graduate from the Naval Academy or ROTC, they're placed in leadership positions where they're taking care of young sailors. So what this week was about was carving out one week to focus on them, but ultimately these witties are supposed to raise the whole tactical level of, of our ships. That does it for this newscast. For more news around the Pacific, follow us on the go on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as AFN Pacific Now. Thanks for watching.